last week, Thursday, the Belmopan City Council held a public meeting to discuss, I believe, seven agenda items. But the two items on the agenda that dominated the meeting were number one, the municipal bond that the Belmopan City Council have gotten permission to float which is $6.5 million. Number two, the re-evaluation, and which actually means the increase of property taxes. Now these two, are, these two dominated the meeting because they're directly linked. Here's the bottom line and simplified. The Belmopan City Council is borrowing $6.5 million. They're going to pay credit union little over one million dollars for a loan that the city council have the man who designed the company who designed the prospectus uh, legacy consulting i believe he's gonna get i think about 10 percent so that's about i understand he's gonna collect roughly three hundred thousand dollars so belmopan city council will be left with about five million dollars and the mayor said that with that $5 million, they will focus that money on infrastructure. Mainly infrastructure, or only infrastructure. He can clarify that, but that is what I heard at the meeting. That $5 million is going to maybe fix about five miles of road. And they are anticipating that with these new infrastructure, these new roads that investment will pour into Belmopan. But they need a source of income to pay this loan. Don't let anybody fool you. A bond is a loan. They're borrowing money. No matter who you borrow it from, they're borrowing money and they have to pay it. And the easiest way for them to pay that loan is to raise property taxes. And what they're contemplating is that they will reevaluate property taxes this year and they will then start or they are now considering taking people to court, all the people who owe property taxes. So my suggestion people the Belmopan City Council promised that they will be doing as many public consultations as they can about the re-evaluation of property taxes in all of Belmopan. So I'm suggesting, I'm recommending, I'm pleading to you, go to these meetings. Go to these meetings. Don't ignore these meetings because when when the re-evaluation is completed and it will be done, we will, Belmopan will have an increase in property taxes and you do not want to get caught off guard because property taxes increase and that will mean the cost of living going up. So contact the Belmopan City Council office take advantage of the discount that they're giving right now and if you can't take advantage go in and negotiate negotiate a lot of people in Belmopan are struggling financially and if I was the era representative I would not contemplate as Mayor Khalid Belial is contemplating hauling people to court and threatening people to take away their property. I would never consider that. I would have contacted every single one of these people, Belmopan is small, every one of these people who owe property taxes and I would sit down with each and every one of them if I had to and come to some sort of payment arrangement if that has not already been done. And if it has, then I commend Mayor Belisle and the City Council. But the people are not paying because people are having financial difficulties. You know why people are having financial difficulties? Well, that's not very hard to, to see. The entire country 
is in a financial chaos. And I won't waste time to point out why. I think we all know why. Every Belizean, every right-thinking Belizean know why that is. So, I will call on all leaders or who want to be leaders in Belmopan to sit down together and let's draft and craft a proper investor incentive program we have to get investment into this city we cannot continue to play politics we cannot continue to waste time we cannot continue to be threatening people to haul them to court because they're broke because they're having financial difficulties we cannot threaten people to take away their homes this is not leadership we're dealing with human beings I don't want to see Mayor Khalid Belisle ever again pull out some piece of paper and read some law off a piece of paper human beings aren't law they're human beings you have to deal and you have to address the issues affecting these people and find out why people are having financial difficulties in this city and the reason for that is because we have not seen any development in Belmopan since the inception of Belmopan over 48, 49 years ago and I am not calling Chinese stores grocery stores investment i'm talking about where we have industries creating value-added products from a raw material we have so many talented young people and people all over belmopan and they're not doing anything because there are no incentives so the first thing that i would do is call on the business community and create a tax incentive cut the trade license fees in half and let the business know that if you want to get this incentive you have to have to invest in your business expand go to them find out how they can expand and find out how you can help them expand that is to begin with and we can then sit down with all the smart business people in Belmopan and find out what they want what they need to grow their business because growing their business means employing more people, creating more quality jobs, and thus paying more taxes into the Belmopan City Council because 50%, 50% of $100,000 per year, for example, that is $25,000, that is $50,000. No, imagine you're paying 25% and a million dollars a year. That is $250,000. I am exaggerating here, but if we give the businesses, especially starting with the local businesses, if we give them the incentives to grow their business, they will grow. We need to not reinvent the wheel when Corozal opened the Corozal free zone and started to suck money out of Chetomal out of Mexico via Chetomal they responded the Mexicans responded in Chetomal and they invited Plaza Las Americas to build a shopping mall and now Mexico via Chetomal is sucking over 100 million dollars a year out of our economy Belmopan is centrally located. There are over 60,000 people alone in the Cayo district. We, that, and it's only a 45 minute drive from Belize City. We need to focus on building a shopping center in Belmopan and we need to also focus on allowing Belmopan to develop as a entertainment center. Once we create the incentives, once we create the, create the financial and tax incentives, we will, we will attract investors to Belmopan. We have to focus on also building a state-of-the-art hospital. Belmopan is the hub of Belize. Hub, it's a hub. We have, again, 60,000 people just in the Cayo district, and we have a clinic. 
that hospital that's not a hospital it's a clinic we need to build a state-of-the-art hospital once we get these things in place we then need to also invite a major chain hotel the Hyatt the, the Hilton whatever we need a 200 to 300 room hotel in Belmopan just last year if I'm not mistaken or was it two years ago when we have a international football match in Belmopan the players had to stay in Belize City because we did not have enough hotel rooms or we did not have the quality of hotel in Belmopan to house these players now that now that is a shame if you go to Chetomal Chetomal have focus on attracting and encouraging business oriented hotels you know why because Chetomal is the capital city of Quintana Roo so they allow and they create incentives so that business hotels can build and grow in Chetomal now you can go to Chetomal and do your business in a quality hotel and for a very 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 reasonable price so Belmopan can do the same thing I know we are not Chetomal we don't have that among the people but we can start with at least one hotel a 200 to 300 room hotel and what these initiatives will do they will attract more investment once we create the incentives and we actively seek investors it will attract more investment and we have to get investment into Belmopan so that the Belmopan City Council can have new sources of tax taxes flowing into their coffers instead of doing this backwards method that they're doing with building roads because it's a quick cash cow for some contractor and that roads will in attract investors come on and now you want to burden the residents of Belmopan by borrowing more loans when if we were focused and if we now start to focus and inviting investment into Belmopan and start growing and boosting the Belmopan economy that new source of taxes will be more than sufficient to build roads maybe we will have to borrow supplemental loans you know to, to fill the gaps but we won't have to be borrowing all that money just to fix a few roads right now we are building roads in Belmopan and the, the current roads are falling apart so we are building roads over here but the roads that were there you know since the beginning of Belmopan those roads are falling apart so we're running out of money building those roads and now we don't have enough money to fix the current roads it's a mess it's a mess people and we cannot continue down this road and I'm not gonna waste my time bashing Khalid Belisle or bashing the PUP this is where we are are because to be quite frank bad decisions were made bad economic decisions were made and now it's time for us the people to hold the leaders accountable and i am calling i am calling on our leaders i'm calling on jb wade he just launched his campaign to be mayor to run as mayor and i'm calling on khalid belisle we need to sit down together and we need to create not talk about we need to create and investor incentives in Belmopan and start attracting investors now let's not waste our time printing up building roads and telling people that roads will attract investors come on guys come on that will not happen roads will not attract investors only business incentives will attract investors we are in a very precarious situation so let's focus let's focus on attracting investors and not trying to sweet up the the electorate by building roads all over the place and then you will come right back and say hey i have to charge you know one little bit more money i have to raise on you know, a cost of living because you know we borrow this loan we float this 6.5 million dollar municipal bond and now we have to pay for it and we never focus on investment so we now have to raise property taxes because that's that the easiest and the most convenient source of taxes for the city council 
So I am calling on the residents now of Belmopan to stay vigilant, to stay vigilant and call on the city council and all the leaders or who want to be leaders in the city council to focus on bringing investment into this city or we will be wasting our time. Even me, even me, if I get into the city council, I could promise you all sorts of beautiful things, beautiful streets and, and daycare centers for single mothers and training centers for young people and all these pretty things I can promise you. But that is the what. We need to focus on the how. And the how is how will we pay for these things. These things are necessary. Any leader could tell you they want to do all these things, fix streets and, and build uh, sports complexes and, and, and so on and so forth. But I want to focus on how we will pay for it. And the how is very, very easy. It's simple. We have to bring investment into Belmopan to create new streams of taxes for the city council so that the city council do not have to raise taxes on you, the working class, the residents of Belmopan. Thank you and have an excellent, beautiful day, people.